of YouTube land, Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Gundam Universe, Death Side. And you look, first and foremost, before we check out the figure itself, let's look at the packaging. Here we got an image of Death Side. Oops, Butterfinger moment. And we got, the name on the packaging is XXG. G010 Gundam Death Scythe GU06 Bandai. There we got Gundam in Japanese and Gundam Universe right there. Look at the side. Uh, nothing interesting on the side. Same image of Death Scythe himself. We got an obligatory product shot. A product shot. Please forgive my stuttering. It shows the shield function, the articulation at the knee joint, and other Gundam figures out. Like the Gundam Universe, Balatos, and black version of Unicorn Gundam. I forget what, what you call it, so I'll take my word for it. And Gundam Info. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. And now we're going to take a close look at the figure itself. Do the leg articulation, which is really good. Rotation, it's got a really good, L, really good knee joint, which I love that. Not knee joint, but ankle tilt, pretty good. Same with the other foot. Bend at the knee, ankle tilt, head was on a ball joint, I love that ball jointy goodness. Hands can spin around, they can bend, which is really good, I love that. Arms got full bend at the, at the elbow, which is pretty cool, cool. pretty cool by my book. Wrist, some wrist rotation, really good. And now we're going to get him back holding his scythe. And there goes his arm shield. We got him holding his scythe of murder death. And this arm shield launched right off his shoulder and hit a mobile suit and destroyed it in the Gundam. Gundam Wing anime, which was pretty cool by my standards. Is a Gundam Universe Death Scythe worth adding to your Gundam collection if you love Gundam? Yes, he is worth the pickup. I got mine for at least 20 bucks. Less than 20 bucks or 15 bucks, I can't remember to be exact. But I got them off Amazon. Now, for comparison, the most important thing I should do before ending this video, compare him with his fellow Gundam Universe. Here he is next to Gundam Universe. Wing Zero. And his shield's a bit fussy. So it's hard to get his shield to stay in one place. This one is absolutely great. This one's okay, too, but the only complaint I have about it is the shield is floppy. I don't know if any of you reviewers, if any of you reviewers find a way to secure a shield where it ain't going to be floppy, let me know in the comments. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out.